Hey, great to be with you again, and I'm really glad to get to share these moments with you. I want to talk to something that's kind of been on my heart the last few years, all around 1999, I felt like the Lord spoke to me and said the same way that Jesus went to Jerusalem or to the Jewish people first, and then the gospel went to the rest of the world, I felt like the Lord spoke to me and said the same way that he went to the God's people or the Jews first and the rest of the world, he, he laid on my heart that I will go to the signs of the reformers one more time before I finish my work in the earth. And so John five nineteen says very clearly, Jesus says, I only do the things that I see the Father doing, and I do them equally. So around 1998, 99, Fawn and I started traveling quite a bit more than we did up to that time, and especially internationally. And these last 10 years have been very busy years. But one of the things that I, I just want to mention is that we see that God is literally opening up many doors. And the question that I always have in my heart, not as to have something else to do, I always say the key question is not what to do, but the key question is to how to build. So, so what is always on my heart as I travel and in, in, uh build relationships and, and work with different leaders, the question, I'm looking for places to build. I'm looking for people who truly want to build. And by building, I mean who want to build churches that build people in those churches who have the ability to impact the world that they're in, not just to be culturally neutral, but to reach out and impact and, and, to, and to help change the culture and produce reformation. So... There's obviously different tools in Zechariah, chapter 1, verse 18, towards the end of the chapter. Zach is having a tremendous vision, and the vision that he's having is that he is literally watching the principalities and the powers that change the destinies of nations and the principalities and powers, demonic ones that have kept uh, God's people from rising up. They've kept them bent down. They've kept them divided. They've kept them from prospering and, and becoming and fulfilling the destiny that God has for them. So Zechariah is literally watching this vision. And so as he watches this vision, all of a sudden he sees over here on the side, he sees builders come onto the scene. In Spanish it says carpenters, uh, but literally the best word translation for him is that those who know how to build. Now, what is really interesting about this passage is that the moment that he sees uh, these builders, or better said, when he sees the builders come onto the scene, he sees something else that's very powerful as well. And what he sees basically is this. He sees that the principalities and powers, the demonic principalities and powers, become afraid. Did you hear what I said? They become afraid when somebody who knows how to build shows up. Now, that is what basically apostolic ministry is about, is the ability to build and the ability to have impact and the ability to produce people that can impact their, their, their worlds and their cultures. And so that is truly what apostolic ministry is about. Now, I said all that to say this. There are tools that we can use, and I think that we ought to grab hold of everything we can. One of the things that I think we ought to get a hold of is media, but especially the Internet. And I think we're experiencing a phenomenon that is very similar to the invention of the printing press. Uh, if you've heard Alfredo talk about the 500-year cycles, well, you know that the first 500 years, or when, uh, when Luther came on the scene, there was the printing press that took the truths of the 500-year cycle and literally threw them all over the civilized world of that day. And now we're having something else happen with the Internet that is almost as equally as impacting. And eventually everything that you see on television and everything else will be done through the Internet. But uh, Bruno and I were talking one day, and I just began to say, uh, we need to do a social network because there's so many places where good men and women are wanting to build, and the ways that we can just keep in contact with each other, and ways that we can follow up with each other, and ways that we can just take a simple paragraph or two and share what God is speaking and saying, and where people, uh, not all churches are big churches like ours, 
but uh, there are many people who have understood some of these powerful truths. And so there are a way for us to keep connected and a way that you can still have a voice and a way that we can bring in people from around the world. And so we started what we call CCI World. And so uh, when we started, it took off like crazy. We blew about three servers out in five to six months, something like that. And finally, our software was totally inadequate. So Bruno sat down and just began to work and another brother here in the church. And we've come up with a fantastic plan. And basically, we have now what we call CCI Middle Dash World Org, which is a social network. It's operating in three different languages already. It's operating in English, Spanish, and German. Soon, it'll be operating in French. French. But 60% of the people today, young people today, better said like this, out of the young people today, 60% of their social life is taking place on the Internet. Wow. That means instead of in parks and plazas, sports, baseball, basketball, whatever you did when you were a kid, today, 60% of what they're doing is happening right there on their computer on the Internet. So these social network phenomena that take off there, and they've done something fa uh, just you know, they're incredible the way they've taken off. But at the same time, just kind of like television, you can use it for good or use it for bad. We know... Uh, Last year, they said in one of the news reports that 33,000 socials, 33,000 convicted sexual felons were taken off a certain social network. Wow. They're in there cruising, looking for people they can take advantage of. Another article came out last week that said that divorce rates, lawyers have figured out that divorce rates have gone up significantly, and they've gone up significantly through social networks where people are out finding old boyfriends or girlfriends or doing things that they would never do, but they're doing in social networks. Well, people are going to be there anyway, so we felt like we had to have something that we could use as a tool for the kingdom of God and to reinforce positive concepts, reinforce music, reinforce videos, reinforce writing, reinforce thinking, reinforce theology, uh, and building friends and just sharing what is going on with our lives. So right now, if you would jump on to CCI World, www.cci.com, middle-world.org, you'll find people from Thailand, India, Germany, Denmark, Finland, Spain, uh, Brazil, Argentina, Mexico, the United States, people that are originally from Guyana. I mean, you, we've got people from everywhere that are showing up in this thing, and it's just fantastic. Malaysia, and uh, we think that you ought to be there. And you may already be participating in some social networks, and we think that is great. We've even made ours where you can, it'll pull your information into ours. But we think that you ought to be there with us, and you ought to write a thought every week about what God is doing in your life or a rhema. And just share with us and, and help us follow these people who are coming in around the world. This is a great opportunity. A book was written in the 60s called The Media is the Message. And basically what that book was saying was this, that it doesn't make a difference what is in media, but whatever is in media will become the social conscious of the people. Those of us who travel a lot see that that is happening around the world, especially in airports and things of this nature. But we want you to take a hold of this opportunity and to help us reach out and do something significant in the sense of social networking. This is a long-term project. We need you on there. We need you to invite your friends. We need you to go on there where it goes community. Then you can look and, it can, and then you click to see who, how many people are on the network. Look at the new people. Greet them with us. Talk to them. Help us. Send them an email. Welcome them to CCI World. Uh, connected for Reformation. Connected to Impact Our Nations. You can always get me in CCI World. Just write me there and I revise that site every day. Bless you. Good to be with you.